Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Maria and I'm thrilled for you to be here with me today. I wanted to share something. I saw my best friend this weekend. I drove, uh, she lives about an hour and a half away um, in a city called Three Rivers and I went to see her and you know, she's moving in with her boyfriend um, next week actually. So she's been cleaning up a little bit, <clears throat> I'm sorry. And she, um, as she was cleaning up, she decided to give me this handbag that she's never used. And um, I was with her when she bought this. So um, I just wanted to give you a little tour of this bag and, um, and just give you my very first impressions of it. And uh, so if you're curious to learn more about this bag, please stay tuned. is I mean it's not like a known bag but it's this gorgeous leather okay so it's called um, Mano Manokyo and it's a beautiful black leather so basically this bag came with a leather strap and it came with a wider very colorful um, you know guitar strap style strap and basically she told me that she had bought this bag for that strap so basically she gave it to me um, but kept that wider strap so I'm not even bothered by that I figure if I want one like that I can find one you know on Amazon that's kind of very me um, so I'll, I'll look at that slowly but it's not a, I'm not in a hurry or anything um, so basically it's a pouch like almost almost bucket shaped um, and it's a really strong magnetic closure okay and then there's two slip pockets at the at the front and two slip pockets at the back or whichever side is front and back <laughs> um like there's even the tag still attached so she had bought this at 69.99 um this was a, a good three, three, four years ago. She's had this for so long and she's never used it. And inside, it's this beautiful suede, so nice. And there's another little pouch inside. So it's actually, you can use this as either like a compartment um, inside, inside the bag, or you could decide to take it out and use it as a separate bag um, with two little D-rings here. And so if you take that part out, this is what the inside of the bigger pouch looks like. It has a striped fabric, there's no pockets. Um, so I thought that was so sweet of her. I thought it was like such a nice, um, little addition to my collection because I don't have any bags like this kind of shape and I love this size so for days that I maybe want to carry a little bit more I want to be hands-free and wear it crossbody um, and you know don't want to you know weatherproof kind of bag this will be awesome so I was very touched that she gave it to me and so right now it's stuffed with some paper it is just a black hole and um, this bag it has like the zipper pull a very smooth zipper um, and the strap so I haven't even unwrapped it I'll, let's look at the strap together um, okay it's well taped <laughs> Okay, and um, it is a nice adjustable strap with the two clasps here, but it does have that annoying factor that it does not have that second hoop 
to keep this from doing that which is the kind of thing that drives me crazy um so yeah that's that's annoying i don't i don't like it when they don't have the second loop <laughs> A lot of YouTubers mention that and I 100% agree they should have that should that shouldn't even be a question it should have a second loop because no I don't want that no um so I'll have to see if I like this strap or if I'm gonna use something else but um so maybe I will order a wider strap to carry this one I don't know I'll play around with it but for this guy I purchased on Amazon like a Chanel-esque strap and it came with um, this cute little tassel so um, I wanted to show you how I would kind of dress this up um, because I think it could be like super plain if you're just wearing that leather strap on it like this but I thought it could look super cute with these. So the tassel, it's very tiny clasp, um, it won't fit on this ring. It's too small. So I thought I would attach it to the zipper pull like that. Already looking so cute. And then um, if I attach my and I'll do uh, some mod shots after and look how cute doesn't that look adorable um, so it's already very you know much more dressed up and the other thing that I purchased on Amazon um, I'll link all this below is a pack of these D-rings. And see they have like a spring kind of closure. And so I wanted those because I thought for some of my bags, for example, this strap, I can't pull it through if ever I wanted to wear it more as a shoulder bag. So my idea was to use these so I'm just gonna open it and attach one on each side. I like to make my bags work for me, you know, kind of see how I can bring it to another level. Okay. And then basically I'm going to attach this. loop it through okay and then attach it again on the other loop and then I have this super cute shoulder bag so I thought I'm gonna have a lot of fun <laughs> with these little accessories and this bag and I think this is gonna be such a cute simple black bag so I'm going to get up and I'm going to show you a couple mod shots of both ways, either as a crossbody. This strap is pretty long um, and you have to think it's going to be a tiny bit longer because I just put these hoops on, but I'm 5'8 and when I'm wearing a crossbody, it, it, hits my, it hits my hip. So if you're shorter, it might be a little bit long for you because it's not adjustable. So I just wanted to put that out there. So I'll be right back with some mod shots. Here it is as... A little shoulder bag. Is that not adorable? I think it's so chic. For something that was so plain a couple minutes ago, I love the little tassel. I think it's such a cute touch. I think it looks, and it's really comfortable because it's flat. Yeah, I really like it. And I'll show you crossbody in a moment. Okay, so this is a crossbody. I did um, remove the clip from the big hoop for this because like I said, the chain is really long. So if I wear it on the loops, 
you know, the bag will hit <laughs> like my thighs. And I already find this kind of long. So, um, yeah, maybe I would have to see if I can kind of loop it through the big hoops. I don't know, I'll have to see if there's a way to play with that. Let me try that one moment. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this. I'll have to see, but this is the kind of the solution I found was to loop it around like if I'm wearing it as the shoulder bag, but and then just to leave this part lower. Um, it definitely makes it more of a comfortable length for crossbody. But yeah, so I think I'm going to wear it more like shoulder or deal with it um, you know, at the crossbody length on me. We'll have to see, because I don't think I love this, but it was an idea. So yeah. Thank you, Mel, for my special gift. I absolutely love it. So there you go. Um, I'd be really curious to know what you guys think of this bag, if you think it's cool, if you think it's too simple. Um, I really like it. I think it looks really well made. Um, it's super soft and yeah, and it just, it's a sweet gift from my friend. <laughs> so it means, you know, a lot to me. It's a very sweet gesture. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope if you liked this video, you'll give it a thumbs up. I'd be really grateful. If you haven't already done so, but you like kind of the content that I do, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Um, and welcome to my new subscribers. Um, but yeah, and I still yet to have to film a video on essential oils. I'm such a passionate person about essential oils. I'm going to be filming a video about that very soon. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well and thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you very soon. Bye.